Alright, hello and welcome back to the Benji Boys Podcast. We're here with you on this fine Christmas of the 20... 20... Fuck. 2022? <laughs> what? 21? What? 23? No, it's 21. <laughs> We're here to talk about Supernatural Season 21. No, 11. Wow. <laughs> You're a mess. We're here <laughs> to have a crack good rock. time on this Christmas episode. Eggnog has been sipped. It really hasn't because like, none of us drink. No. Um, We're here to talk about Supernatural Season 11 on Christmas Day because who doesn't love talking about this show on a holiday? Not us anymore. So if you guys find anyone else that wants to finish out these last three reviews, call us. We'll hire you on for the bonus we'll episode. <laughs> yeah, I would give you two pennies. I'll give you a lollipop. Yeah. But we already wasted enough time, so we got to introduce ourselves with you today. My name is Enrique. My name is Eli. My name is Tristan Beck, but not so much better than ever this time. We thought the Omnicron got him. I had a whole obituary written if you missed this episode. But through <laughs> rain, really? sleet, and snow, he showed back up with no Omnicron, a negative test, but he still got his tonsils. Tough. Well... Guys, we watched Supernatural Season 11, which ended off in Season 10, with Dean and Sam unleashing the Dark Unisu and breaking Earth again. Again. Yeah. I Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a while for me because, uh, yeah, I just wanted this over with, so I got it done like a month yeah, ago. Yeah, say, it's been a while since I was dead. Uh, I think that's how exactly. that song goes. <laughs> yep, the 100%. That yeah. is ex- exactly. exactly. So basically, here's the plot for this season because I don't got time for all that. Sam and Dean unleashed a demon baby. The demon baby grows up super quick. We find out the demon baby is actually the sister to God. There is a twist reveal where it turns out God is a character we already knew. God mm. and that God and his sister squash their beef and they leave. And somehow there is still four more scenes of the show. Yeah, that's pretty King. good. That's yeah, that's pretty much uh pretty much the gist. That's of the it. whole review. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> so I, I'm just here to say the season wasn't as bad as ten or nine. That's at no, least it's true. it's that's not. True. Is it bad though? Yes, yes, but not as bad. No, but we got some positives. One of the yeah. positives is we got another inclusionary character. With um the deaf woman, I forget her name. Yes, uh, yes, Eileen. Eileen. Yep. Yes, Eileen. Yeah, I, I thought I thought she, I thought you were gonna say Billy, and I was gonna murder you. <laughs> no, 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 Eileen. We like, also got Billy. introduced to Billy, who mm. is basically a fan of the show, because she's here to say, "I'm sick and tired of you guys dying and coming back." All right, no <laughs> more. I'm sick of watching the show. I should have stopped watching it season five, but here I am. It's season eleven, so I'm here to keep y'all in check. Yeah, she did we'll, a bad we'll job. We'll see of that. if she does it or not. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Because I mean, so far she just she just says, "I'll keep you in check." She hasn't really done anything to keep him in check. <laughs> yes, but Eileen's cool. I actually like this. You guys remember back a long time ago when we reviewed Silent Voice? We you know we talked about how a deaf voice actor actress. Now we have a oh. deaf actual actress. Well, not actual, but like yeah. live action actress. Yeah. So I thought that was a cool inclusion. I've heard about this character in the later seasons. So spoilers, she will be coming back. But yeah, they didn't really include her too much. So I could see how Tristan would pass her by just because he doesn't have anything to go off of. Yeah, yeah but true. I mean, that was definitely one of the better introductions this season. Yeah, yeah, she's cool. I definitely don't mind her. Now talking I mean... about one of the worst introductions. Oh, no. <laughs> Amara. Yeah. yeah, it's not the worst. Uh, it's pretty. It, my, I mean, you got one worse. You could hit me with it, but yeah, it, it's Chuck slash God. Well, that's not an introduction. That's a reintroduction. That, that's a, that. That's a re. Yeah, I mean, it's still an introduction though, because I mean, you're introducing him as yeah. Anyway, that whole this whole plot that, this season was just awful. Dude, that's tough. Honestly, this season wasn't even that bad until. The, the Chuck is God thing, and then I'm like, oh, that's right. That happened. No, this it, season. it was pretty bad because I didn't care for Amara at all, the character. Well, yeah, um, Amara. She was very was bland. Weird. Yeah. Very boring. Yeah. The actress wasn't great for the you know her final actress when she was fully grown. Yeah. 
I thought the kids did better, which kind of sad, but <laughs> neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I thought it was rough. The one thing I will give props to you for acting wise, Misha Collins is that motherfucker. Yeah, oh, dude. He is. Yeah, he's amazing. Satan Misha Collins was probably my favorite bit this season. Oh yeah, him yeah, running excellent. around. Keeping Crowley in check, checking these losers in hell. I loved it. He was a sarcastic asshole throughout the entire season. It was great, dude. Yeah. No, they did really good with that. Like, he's a fantastic actor. Yeah, so shout out. Also, shout out to you, The Miz. The Miz, dude. For Miz. being in a wrestling episode. <laughs> I, I don't yeah, know why that... they did this, but I wasn't complaining. I was like, I like wrestling. Dude, I, I, I wrote, too. I was like... Uh, so Tristan and Rick are going crazy. And then I said uh, for that same episode, I don't know what happened, but Crowley got uh, the God weapon or something, like the hand of oh, God. Yeah. And I said, Crowley entered the zone. <laughs> oh, I said Satan about to clap Crowley and his little follower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, yes. So that was cool. We got a Rufus and Bobby episode. Yeah. I'll yeah, never be awesome. sad. When, I'll never not be happy when Rufus and Bobby are around. For sure. Definitely shouldn't have killed them, but... Nope. Here we are. Because, honestly, a great thing they could have did if they kept Rufus and Bobby around is split the season in half. Give half to fucking Sam and Dean for the main plot, half to Bobby and Rufus. It would have been great. But no, they had to kill him for bits. I mean... Yeah, I think post season five, that would have been a good idea. But I, I like, for the most part, where they went for those first five seasons, so... Yeah. Oh, I skipped over this, but I want to say this. How did Eileen not know who Sam and Dean were? What At this mean? point, every hunter in the planet oh, yeah. knows who Sam 100%. and Dean are. Literally in the planet at the end of the season. Like, <laughs> yeah. Did did you any of you guys believe that Ruina was dead? <laughs> I mean, I've seen this before, yes. so no. But I thought she was done. I was like, wow, that's a great way to kill one of the better characters you have so far. And then she said, lol, I'm on my Sam and uh, Dean shit. I said, fuck, dude. Can anyone <laughs> die in this show? <laughs> I said, Rowena's pretty cool. I actually don't She's mind She's gotten better. She's to the point mm -hmm. where she just is annoying little bug that keeps poking at them. And that's yeah. a great bit. Because, like, they're like, fuck, I want to kill her. <laughs> we can't kill her. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, one of my things, uh, the Imaginary Friend oh, episode, which actually wasn't that a bad episode. That was my episode. favorite episode of the season. I was going to bring that yeah, up at some point. A, it was a pretty solid plot line. Whatever. It's a cool idea. Anyway, my point on that episode is they use a different child actor every single time for Dean. And I just don't understand what the point of doing the flashbacks is if you're going to change the actor every time. Because it takes it's too many years, man. I These I've kids seen, are grown. I understand. I understand, man. But there's just really no point. Like, they kept the same Sam for the most part. Like, I like how Dean's imaginary friend was just Joe Dirt, though. <laughs> It's just Joe Dirt. <laughs> it's like, yo, you want a brewski? <laughs> My God. And I'm like, yeah, that makes complete sense to me. I said Sully was top three Sully's all time as well, so. Yeah, you got Monsters, Inc. Sully. You got this Sully and... Sully from Uncharted. <laughs> oh, see, I wouldn't know. <laughs> also, did you guys notice Finn Wolfhard was in this season? Yes. No, I did Episode not. Episode five. He was a little kid in the background. Oh, oh, that's the dude from Stranger yes. Things. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I didn't remember his name. I just said, is that the dude from Stranger Things that I don't like? Well, you don't like that's, Mike. That's all I said. <laughs> no, I don't I, I, Maybe it's just because that's a, really the only thing I've seen him in, but I don't like it. Mike, oh. that's the only thing I've seen him in as well, but, you know, Mike. He's just lame. 11! That's a, yeah, yeah I, I don't like Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah, it's not that yeah, bad. Yeah, you do. You watched all three seasons, bitch. Don't I, yeah, the first season was good. Anyway, that's not the point. Third season was good. Yep. That, you cannot <laughs> tell me Billy was not Dude. goaded in that season. I didn't say that. I just said the season itself was You can't wasn't tell good. me Billy trying to fuck on moms was not All goaded. All right. I mean, it was. He was at the pool trying talking about, I'm going to bang this mom out. Okay. Mike was about to have out. a new father. Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go ahead and uh, move on. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Chuck gets revealed as God in this season, which is like, on the one hand, I'm like, that do be making sense. On the other hand, I was like, that do be pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It does make sense. It does. Like, I get it. Because, like, Chuck, it was such, like, a non-sequential character. And, but, obviously, he just, like, that was a whole bit when he disappears. Like, where'd he go? Like, you know, kind of thing. And he stopped writing books and all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And he broke up with Becky. You know, I was like, okay, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they come back. And they don't even, like, do a cool, like, bit to show he's God. He just goes, no. like, I'm God. I'm like, I knew this ahead of time just because from Eli telling me. But I'm like, you could have done something about this. Like, something cool. Like, an intro. Like, flash of white light. And then out comes Chucky. goes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something. Instead, he just goes, I'm I don't God. know. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, Metatron was on his redemption arc shit because he was talking that shit to God, bro. That dude was going off. He said, this book is ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's pretty true, bro. This book do I mean, be kind of cheeks. <laughs> a couple episodes later, the whole uh, God and Lucifer counseling session. Yeah, that's the type of shit that made me Yo, stop yeah, watching. Why? Yeah, uh, what? Episode 22, specifically, yes. the angry teen arc. And I was like, yes, damn, I really like Satan cast, too. You guys had to do this. <laughs> Dude, I I like say like I like Lucifer's actor. I like the the character himself, but man, they just bleh. that bit was so shit. Yeah, I'm just cringing, and retroactively, man. I feel like hurt season five. No, I I, I, yeah, mm-hmm. I agree, man. It was like man, Satan was such a big bad cool bad guy, and now it's like Satan is literally like a pawn. And I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, even uh, going even further, I don't mean to just go right to the end of the season i mean we'll cover oh no stuff, you can but, go dude, for it that's about all i got because <laughs> uh, honestly dude like this the the last like five or so episodes were the worst of anything dude because we had british mental letters which you'll I hate come to find out i is please tell me i'm not the only one who hates no, that no, bit. no i hate it there was, so nazi, there was a nazi mental it. letters episode earlier in this season uh-huh. and i'm just so now I wrote down like metal letters in concept is so cool in execution it's so mm-hmm. bad yep and I don't mm-hmm. care yep yep just wait just wait because it gets what? worse it's like but... if Kingsman was shit <laughs> yeah and it's uh, what I hate most about it is they they try to like discredit Sam and Dean and like act like they don't know shit when really like we've gone through eleven seasons of them knowing everything. So like it's just kind of stupid they've to see save the world seven times. I know exactly, dude. Everyone so it's like... knows them. Don't pretend like you don't. Yeah. Especially Literally, if you're in that is, business, that's a whole bro. Bit. It's look, that's yeah. a bit. It's like everywhere they go. Oh, you're the Winchesters. We know you. You're the Winchesters. We want to kill you. Like, come on, bro. Well, I, I did say, uh, let's switch it up a little bit. I did see say uh, Dean went from random girls at the bar to the sister of God. Well, that's fucking Dude, nuts. I'm just, that whole bit, too. <laughs> I'm just like, man, come on, dog. That was awesome, on, Hey, Then I said, uh, even though Dean's girlfriend Amara is gone, he has his other girlfriend back now. His mom. Dude, oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Please, I forgot that even happened until you just said that. Yep. I just watched the episode like two days ago, dude. Dude, I forgot. I'm so I just read over my notes. everything that happens in this show at this point. Dude, I'm telling you, man, that last five episodes was just top bad, just dude. terrible. It's like terrible. it's like Sam and Dean were irrelevant to what was happening. Happening. I know. It's like they were just there watching it go down. The rest of it was just between God and Amara. Yep. Yeah. If God more, more sh- I think it. it literally happened because the writers were like, wow, we haven't set up anything for them to beat Amara. Right, yeah. Let's just bring in God. Who's God? Chuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't like, uh, Cass. Oh, that would have been, been... Uh, br- <laughs> What if God was Rowena the whole time? <laughs> oh, oh my God. is a woman. That's why I had to you leave know... you, Fargus. I was gone. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> y- you know who they should have made God is Garth. If he shows up again, I'm not going to turn off the show. <laughs> hey, Garth is dope, Okay, man. not, not since Garth. they crucified not my boy. Garth. Yeah, no, you're right. They ruined him. Unbelievable. You know, they, did a, they, they tried to do another spinoff cheese episode this season, but I actually wanted this one. What, which one? The one with Jody and uh, the, the, his, her new daughter. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. No, I fuck with no, that. That, yeah. was, that was that a good episode. Bad. I enjoyed that. Did they retcon the whole vampire cheese? Because, no. like... Claire got bit, but they said that she don't turn unless she drink the blood. No, that's is that a retcon? Is that no, that's, that's I don't know if that was the that's been a thing. I don't remember, I don't remember to be honest. Either. They they started saying that like multiple seasons ago that 
until yeah, but vampires can... haven't been relevant for like no, exactly since season season one. But like, they they determined that a long time ago that if you uh if you haven't fed yet and then you drink the blood of the vampire that bit you uh you won't turn no that makes sense because uh, that's how they had yeah. the, the girls who they were just drinking off of that makes sense mm-hmm. yeah yeah, I just, you know, they're not relevant. They haven't been relevant since Benny. Y'all remember Benny? Benny. <laughs> Dude, Benny was dope, man. I, I miss Benny. Seasons was ago, it, Benny was with us. Was it this Dude, season it was... or last season that they tried to have Benny pull back up for something? Last season. It, I don't remember, but yeah, I do, I do remember that. Dean was dreaming about Benny, and Benny was trying to convince him to kill himself or something last That's season. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. You know what one of my but, other episodes was in this season that i really honestly kind of enjoyed yeah tell me bro um well <laughs> actually no i think all right no, so you don't no, remember no, 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 sorry <laughs> it was because you guys you guys actually ended up covering it with the the alex and jody thing but then the uh the one with the shapeshifter not shapeshifter i guess with the curse you know what i'm talking about no uh the, i don't it was remember like the kiss of death one no. Kiss a dad. It was the one where the husband was cheating on his wife with the babysitter. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes, I do remember that. So yep, this one, I do remember this one that. I got some entertainment out of purely because it was, they got to the point where it was like, oh, you know, it'll show, like, it'll turn into, like, the person you most desire or something like that. And so then, like, Dean was going to be looking at this person. <laughs> and I was like, I really, really, really hope it's Lisa. I oh. think again. Like man. I hope Lisa Yeah, you pulls wish you up, get bro. Amara. I'll be to try that one more time. <laughs> and then they said they said you're gonna get Here's Amara, Amara. You're gonna be happy about it. Here's Amara. And I was yep. like, No. Yeah. Please. Yep. No. Yes. That's what Dean desires most, bro. The chick he met. Are you sure? Never mind. I mean you sure it's I, there's not the more t- complex. I, I think it is, so dude. The writers are on that shit. Oh Ophidia's complex. To wrap up the season, you know. Instead of a big cool fight or Sam and Dean doing anything of importance, Chuck and Amar decide to hug it out and be a family. Bro, that ah. Okay. <laughs> that hurt me. So that happens. I, yeah. Dean gets teleported off to wherever the fuck. But before he gets teleported, Amar goes, I'm going to give you the one thing for you've always wanted for helping us. And I was like, he's going to get infinite Big Macs? I'm like, you know, I was like, damn, Dean's finally going to get his real wish. <laughs> He's going to get a house. He gets teleported away. Then we cut back to Sam at the, you know, bunker. And there's this woman that they've been teasing for like five minutes. I don't know. About her been flying in or something. And she's British. She flies into Sam. She goes, you guys are playing pretend. I'm like, they've saved the world eight times. If this is playing pretend, so then I'm stupid. playing like non-existent. Uh, and she's like. You can't do this. And Sam goes, you won't shoot me. And he walks up and your gun go off. <laughs> God, dude. It's so stupid. Really dude. called it's his really... bluff. <laughs> and so then it cuts. Is Sam dead? Oh, my God. He's dead. And then Bro. it cuts to Dean, who is in a open field. He walks up to a random white woman who is middle-aged with a white dress on who looks nothing like his old mother's actress. <laughs> And they're like, he's like, Mom, is it you? Because I could tell it's you, even though you're aged up to appropriate age for my mom would be at this point. <laughs> and it goes, Dean? And then it goes, dun dun. And, oh, no. And this is another, again, this is pissed me off. This is another season that did not have the road so far on the actual yeah. Netflix. I have to go look it up. Netflix, if yep. you're going to put the show on there, do it right. If you're not, take it off. Yep. So I don't have to watch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. That's the, that's the one thing I hope for at the end of the season. I'm guaranteed. I'm uh, okay. Eighty percent of the time, I'm guaranteed a road so far. A hundred percent of the time, I'm guaranteed a Winchester death at the end of the season. That's just how it works. <laughs> yeah. So since they can't actually kill them, they gotta pretend kill them now. <laughs> yeah. I get I get more Winchester deaths at the end of the seasons than road so far. We get so more Winchester nuts. deaths than Winchester than seasons. <laughs> That's, that's also true. true. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm probably the least excited for a season that I've been since last season. 
<laughs> me too. This is me impressive. Too. They're like they've continually made it so I get more and more hatred towards the next season. Dude, why do you think I quit like four or five times on this show? I I see it because like I don't I don't know where they're going with this, <laughs> and I don't want to see. You don't you don't want to know? Yeah, it doesn't I just get just better. bring back Eileen, bring back Rowena. Just figure out this whole metal letters thing in the first episode of the season. <laughs> Have the <laughs> mom get up. ran over by a semi truck and she's dead again. Jesus. And there we go. We just reset everything in the first episode of season twelve. <laughs> Thank yeah. God I don't have to watch this shit until February. <laughs> yeah, that's Oh, is that Valentine's? Valentine's yeah, Day, that's man. closer than I thought. I was like, Oh hell yeah, Saint Patrick's Day. No, Valentine's Day exists. Yep. All right, y'all got ratings? I got a rating. You know what my rating is? It's a three and a half. <laughs> Yeah, I I think a four is fair. I think I got it. Like I gotta fix the ratings on this though, because I feel like we gave like the other scenes pity good numbers. No, I don't think so. I think we let's, did. Let's like, see. Yo, Tristan, sorry. Go ahead and give your rating, Tristan, before I go check. This. Oh, I was gonna give this one uh like a four, four and a half. Okay, we gave last season uh, a three. Yeah, I gave it a three and a half. I gave it a three and a half, four. I'll give it a three point seven five. <laughs> It's Beautiful. not. It's better than last season, but by a minuscule margin. Yeah, see, that's why I gave it a four. <laughs> I gave it three point five last I time. I give it a four then too by that criteria. <laughs> this this one had. I mean, this one had some good episodes, in my opinion. Yeah, season. To be fair, you gave season nine a four too, though, which is kind of crazy. Mm, yeah, that is I mean, pretty. Crazy. Yeah, it was pretty ass. I think that was. I was trying to not, you know, try to be nice still, but like at this point, we're done. <laughs> No, yeah, I, I'm fed up, dude. I think I gave it, yeah, I give that one a three. What did you give this one, Tristan? A four and a half? Yeah. I, that makes sense. You know, they're, if, they if for no suck. other reason than because a couple episodes had some saving grace for me, I really enjoyed the Imaginary Friends episode. That one was dope. No, that was cool. That was yeah. one of the best episodes we've seen in like six seasons. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us this Christmas, you know. We got in and out of here so you guys can get back to opening your gifts or giving gifts or eating turkey and ham or something, you know. Do something fun. Yeah. Don't listen to us because we suck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You got better things to do. Listen tomorrow, the 26th, when you're like too stuffed to do anything and you don't know what gifts you want to play with yet or you don't know what, you know, you don't want to drive your lawnmower you got for Christmas. <laughs> My God. You know, so thanks for hanging out with us. You know, we're wrapping up the year on Monday with our year-end rewards again. Yeah, gonna be it's gonna be less than three hours this time. I promise. Oh, less God, than yeah, three hours. It, it will. I can promise you that. We, you guys can check us out on Twitter at b i n g e b o i s. That's binge boys. You can check us out on Instagram at d a b i n g b i n g e b o i s. I don't know why that confused my head for a second. That's duh instead of the because we are dumb asses. You can find us at the same app on TikTok where we post occasional content because we're trying our hardest not to be TikTok kids. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's about it. Thanks for letting us into your ears for Christmas. Join us on Monday for an actual pretty fun episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, check that one out. That's actually going to be really an good. And her, it is. It is. Second annual Da Binci's. Yes. And to wrap things up, I want you guys to remember that my name is Enrique. Happy holidays. My name was Eli. And my name is Tristan. And I want you to remember that the Binge Boys New Year resolution is to stop watching Supernatural, please. <laughs> <laughs>